Shadites, Courage Barbell, coming at you today. We're going to talk about I don't know, one of the first exercises I probably learned, or at least in the first group of exercises I learned, for your shoulders. That is the standing lateral dumbbell raise. This is a pretty simple movement, yet I continue to see a lot of people not performing it in what I consider the most optimal way. So let's just jump into it. Here's what we got. I'm going to grab these 10 pounders. Very simply, you've seen lots of people do this. That's a dumbbell lateral raise. Here's one of the big key components of this. Your scapula is your shoulder joint where the humerus rides in the cup is part of the scapula. Look it up on the internet, please do. Actually, I'm being serious. Look it up and, and see it and maybe click on rotator cuff muscles and just kind of have an idea how it works. So that way you'll see that when you, when you look that up, you'll see that if I move my scaps, if I'm in, in, in shoulder protraction or retraction, it's all gonna change how my humerus moves in that small cup in the scapula. So what we wanna do is we wanna have our shoulders in neutral, meaning not protracted, not retracted, but just neutral in the middle, as if you're standing up really straight and really tall. Once you get them there, you gotta keep them there. You do this with the muscles of the mid upper back, rhomboids, mid lower traps, etc. So you need to keep tension on those and keep those tight while you're making this, doing this exercise. Also, if we come up and we go, and we elevate our shoulders, now we're changing and we're using more trap and we're not really using our deltoid the way it could be used. So keeping the shoulders in depression is very important too. That again is gonna help stabilize the back, help stabilize the scapula, and let the shoulders do what they're supposed to do. So it's gonna look something like this. I. I'll go here and here. I'll explain why in a little bit. We're going to start here. So I'm going to go boom. Shoulders in neutral. I'm going to get my rhomboids, my middle back tight, stabilizing my scapula. I'm going to depress my shoulders. I'm going to have a slight bend in my elbows. And I'm going to raise up. Just like that. And you'll see... As I come up, I'm not keeping my hands the same. I'm not coming up here. I'm actually giving a little turn right here. So I wanna keep my dumbbell basically perpendicular to the floor, not up like this. I wanna keep it here. That's gonna help keep my shoulder really straight and perpendicular to my body. Sometimes, depending on, the ex depending on how I'm using the exercise, I'll just keep at my side, which allows me to stand up a little bit straighter and be right here. So from the side, I'm here. If I come to my side, I'm going to stand up a little bit straighter. Some of the problems I see with this, too much bend in the elbow. People try to go like this. No, it's just a slight bend in the elbow, maybe 20 degrees. Not really sure, never measured it. Elevating the shoulders. Like a lot of people try to go heavy and they go, Ugh! Ugh! I'm not against this because I think there's a time and a place to just go heavy and just stress the whole body. But if you're really trying to isolate your deltoids, I don't think that's necessarily the best route. Questionable. Uh, one of the other big ones, like, like I said, we're starting it with the shoulder, with the shoulder elevation, 
You're using your traps. Try to get your traps into it to start the movement. Coming up too high, really, all you need, 90 degrees right here. That's all you need. And I've actually seen some evidence that you might not even need to go that heavy, but that's where I've always went. Even when I worked back in physical therapy, that's pretty much where we went with it. So it's a, it's a simple exercise. It's not that hard to do, but with all exercises, intent is going to help make this movement better. Don't come in and just go, oh, I just got to, bah, bah, bah. Like you're missing the point. You're working a lot of different muscles, but you're not working the specific muscles of why you're doing that exercise. You're just coming in and doing an exercise. Even to the point of slow down. Do you like a, a nice controlled movement? And even with light weight, you're going to feel this. And it's probably not bad to start this way practicing the movement. There's really no need to go super heavy, at least not until you've mastered the movement. And if you're trying to get out, you know, those extra reps, we're going down a whole other road now. Um, rest pauses, going to failure. If you have a partner, the negatives are great. And with the negative, again, let them help you get it up, but then be in a good position right here. Because if you're going, if you're bent over and your elbows are up, your shoulders aren't going to get the work they could if you're here. This is going to isolate those deltoids a whole lot more. That's pretty much it, guys. Uh, it's nice and easy. If you hold on, I'll grab a little, some heavier dumbbells. So if I'm using something closer to my regular work weight, again, here, neutral shoulders, depress the shoulders. All those muscles in my back are gonna stay tight. I'm gonna come up here. Keeping everything tight. And in position. Just like that. Normally I throw these into my regular training as supplemental work. So I'm gonna shoot for three to four sets, eight to 10 reps. Uh, pretty standard strength training stuff right there. I really like to do these on my recovery days with a much lighter weight for sets of 30. Sometimes on a, on a recovery GPP session, I'll be like, I want 100 reps. You do it in whatever set rep scheme you want. Four sets of 25, three sets of 33 in one rep. Like whatever you want, doesn't matter, 10 sets of 10. But the idea is to use a lighter weight, get 100 reps of really good technique. And that's how I throw it in. Please like the channel. Please subscribe to the channel. Look for some new content coming up. I decided to start posting and filming Courage Barbell Unlimited podcast so that we can post it here on this channel as well. So then you can listen to it audio through Spotify, Amazon Prime, everything else. And if you notice, even from those short ones, another area I didn't cover was bracing. So the whole time I was doing that, I was pushed out and bracing my core to keep everything stabilized. So that's the kind of effort you need to be putting in to all your lifts. Even though that wasn't super heavy, naturally by this point in my life, I naturally do all my movements with intent because that's normal for me. Like the channel, subscribe to the channel, please share the channel. Uh, check out couragebarbell.com. Go to my Instagram, Chad Ikes, follow that. I put up a lot of great videos on there as well. And that's it, fellas. I'm out. Bye.